Hey guys, welcome to today's service. My name is Yawonga and Lobu. I'm glad that you could join us today. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and enjoy the rest of the service. And when did you start in music? I was like 16, I started doing gigs. And do you think you can win? I'm sure, I'm sure. Come I'm on, sure. let's do this. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, what are you gonna sing for us? Uh, my own version of Alexander Burke, Hallelujah. Oh great, okay, good luck. Okay. Right now, if we can just take a moment to just worship God in this place. Right now, I feel like let's just remember that even if the pandemic is happening, I feel God is still being God. God is still doing miracles. So right now, even as we're at home, let's just worship and remember that God is, is still God. And God loves us and the love he has for us is never ending. And it will still be with us as this pandemic is over. Is all I need. 
Today's Bible reading, today's Bible reading is coming from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 to 7 and it reads, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should, dis- should give what you have decided in your heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So this verse talks up, says that we should give how much we have decided in our hearts and we shall not give we should not give under pressure. So the giving options are, are going to be placed on the screen if you would like to give. Have a good day. We are starting a new series entitled The Born Identity. We are all unique. Each and every person is unique. Um, think of your brothers, your sisters, your friends. Each of you is unique in their own way. We all have our likes, our dislikes. We all have how we prefer how our food is cooked. We all have the way we cut our hair and some like to braid it. But we all have our uniqueness. So this series is going to help us find our uniqueness in Christ. Quite a right, we have our uniqueness as a whole, each and every person, but each of us has a uniqueness that Christ brought us into this world for. So today we'll be looking at our individual uniqueness. You are a masterpiece. What is a masterpiece? You are the special creation of God Almighty. You are made 
in his own image so that your life can make a significant difference in his kingdom. Psalm 139, 14. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Verse 15. My frame is not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depth of the earth. Verse 16. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in the books before one, before one of them came to be. What the scripture is saying is that before you were even born, God created you special. Before your mother and father ever met, you were special. God knew your days. God knew how life would be tough each and every phase of your life. He had already written that out. And sometimes it's so hard to, to think, okay, God knew my life. Why am I going through such a hard time? But then when we look at it, it's not that the hard time is permanent, but it's actually to make us better for the next event. How can we get to the next event without even doing something, without us facing a challenge? With every challenge comes growth. And the growth helps our uniqueness, helps form our uniqueness. If we delete every mistake that we are, that we are going through, every hardship, if we just make our lives simple, then we will take away from who we really are. You are a work of art. Ephesians 2 verse 10. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Isaiah 64 verse 8. Yet, O Lord our Father, we are clay, you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Again, this just goes to show us, you know, everything that our lives, our lives are formed by shows us how God carved each and every aspect of us. You, you may think, okay, my eyes are not even, my hands are big, I have a big nose, but then God carved you that way. And once you accept and see how unique you are, you will start to love yourself more. When you love yourself more, it extends to the others. You extend to even show others love because of your uniqueness. How can you appreciate your own uniqueness if you keep comparing yourself to another person? You're one of a kind. You're not only a masterpiece shaped by God's own loving hands. You are unique, a divine work of art. Like an original painting or sculpture, you are one of a kind. There is no one else like you. God designed each of us so there would be no duplicate in the world. There is nothing that we can, that we can do, whether good or bad, that could ever change his love for us. We cannot earn his love. It is unconditional. God wants you to truly understand and accept who you are. If you, if you think of the times that you have wronged God and said, okay, I need to give him some time to calm down so that I can get back in line with him, then you're wrong. There's nothing that you can do that would take him away from the uniqueness that he has created for you. And you are engraved in the palm of his hand. That's how special you are. He loves you that much. He doesn't see others besides you. He sees only you. No matter how much you try and do wrong, God still sees you as the only person that he created. You can never become someone else. We may have similarities and traits and abilities, but they are all unique to us. Darlington is a good speaker. And I might say, okay, I want that energy, but I'm unique in my own way. Ola can have a whole complete vibe when he comes on, but I'm unique in my own way. And God sees each of us as a special being. God sees each of us as the one that he loves, as the one he's created. We all want to leave an impact in the world, but we think, okay, maybe if I become famous, maybe if I can preach, maybe if I can have a million followers, but God has put each of us in their own special path. 
and by doing that he says okay you only touch one life but that one life that you're touching could impact the whole world and you don't realize that it's not by having those millions of followers but it's just that by one person that one person says okay this person touched me in a special way and I'm going to be like that person and you have done something for them we have to accept and appreciate who God has made us to be in Psalm 139 14 it says I praise you for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made wonderful are your works my soul knows it very well my frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in the secret place woven in the depths of the earth your eyes saw me my unformed substance in your book I was written every one of them the days that were formed for me when yet there was none of them God knew beforehand before the time was before you he knew about 2021 way before you were born he knew where you would be he knew every struggle that you would go through but he gave you grace to face every situation and he wants you to praise him through every single storm that you face because you are unique he wants you to praise you he wants you to praise him because he says to you, you are going through this. I know you and I have put grace in you strong enough to face this battle. And after this battle, you will be even better. Just be you. You were not created to conform. You were not created to compare. You were not created to complete. You were not created to compromise. When you were created to contribute to God's kingdom, you make a significant difference with your life. You were created just to be you. In conclusion, God created you uniquely. He sent you his son to die for you. You are important and you are not a mistake. Don't compare yourself to another person. Be you, be unique, be who God created you to be. Now in your uniqueness, you must realize the one thing that the most important thing for you is to have a relationship with Christ. You can be unique, but there is more uniqueness in you having a special relationship with Christ. So I ask that you say this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, I ask that you come into my life. I accept that I'm a sinner, saved by grace. Today, I confess my sins to you. Thank you for loving me. I accept your son as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Welcome to the family of Christ.